algebra, trig and precalc, calc 1, calc 2, calc 3, and differential equations. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can learn all of those things on your own using books and using courses. So this video is just a brief response to an email I received today. The person's name is Jose, and the subject is the following. I'll read through it briefly, and I'll give some recommendations. So in case you want to learn algebra, trig pre-calc, calc 1, calc 2, calc 3, and differential equations, you can. Subject is math review, calc 3, and diffy q. Dear professor, I studied calc decades ago and just retired. Would like to polish my math back up to take some engineering courses. I need algebra. Trig, why do you have two trig courses? Calc 1, 2, 3, at least through differential equations. Any recommendations are appreciated. Regards, Jose. And he gives me his last name too, but I will leave his last name out of it. So I just got this email just like less than an hour ago. So I thought, let me just make the video really quickly. So first, I think it's great that you want to go back and take some engineering courses after being retired. I think that is awesome. It's going to be a great experience. I think it's good to be in a college environment and it's great to continue learning. So for those of you that don't know, the courses he's talking about are the courses that I have on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. If you do get them, uh, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathvids.com because I've lowered the prices and you'll get a good price through those links. Okay. So for college algebra, which is obviously the first course that you should take in the sequence, um, you can get the course, it has assignments, and that particular course follows this book, College Algebra Essentials by Blitzer. So this book is awesome. I have used this book to teach college level courses. I have taught tons of sections over the years of college algebra, and this is a great book. So College Algebra Essentials by Blitzer. You can get a used copy, Jose. I'll leave links in the description to all of the books uh, that you could use for these courses. And yeah, just get a used copy. You can probably get it for a few dollars. So yeah, that can be helpful. You mentioned trig. You said, why do I have um, two trig courses? It's because I finished one before the other one. <laughs> so I thought, let me just finish one because it was such a big course. I'm like, let me just break it up into two. But it's basically part one and part two. So that's the only reason, just so I could get it out there faster. So I broke it up into two because they were published uh, at different times. So for trigonometry, I recommend this book here, A Graphical Approach to Algebra and Trig. And this is kind of pretty much the book that the trig course is based on. However, however, it doesn't have to be these books, right? The content in, in these courses is very, very standard. So other books have very similar sections. In fact, the names of the chapters are even the same from book to book. So the books are very similar because they're all very modern books. So if you were to go to college and take a math class, um, the courses that I have on Udemy would be very much in line with those college level courses. It's the same content, which is found in pretty much every modern book. Most modern pre-calc books and trig books are very, very similar. There's, there's slight differences in topics and examples and exercises, but it's all very, very similar. So you don't need to get this book, but this is the one that uh, the trig course is, is based off of. As far as calculus, uh, I'm going to recommend this book here, Thomas Calculus. Um, this book, again, is very similar to other books out there on calculus. Uh, the book by Larson, uh, the book by Stewart, very similar. But I wanted to recommend this one because it's not as popular, and I do think that it is a very good book. Also, used copies should be available at a fairly good price. It's called Thomas Calculus. This book is interesting because the older versions of this book are very different from the newer versions of this book. And it has to do with the fact that the original book was called Calculus and it was written by a man named George Thomas. In fact, this actually says it. Yeah, based on the original work by George B. Thomas Jr., Mathematics Institute of Technology, you see, and then it's been revised multiple times over the years. This is a wonderful book. 
Oh, it's a book that I actually bought because people on the channel were leaving comments about it several years ago. So I bought it and yeah, it's a great book. It's a wonderful, wonderful calculus book. So definitely recommend it. It will help you in those calculus courses. I have uh, several calculus courses and they're all a little bit different. So Calc 1, Calc 2, Calc 3, and I have two versions of Calc 1, I believe, and two versions of Calc 3. So you can get, and then you get different assignments and different lectures and different videos in each. So you can get both or just one. So that will help you and you'll become a calculus master. There's a lot of content uh, in those courses. And last and certainly not least, we have differential equations. I'm gonna recommend this one. This one is differential equations and boundary value problems. You don't need the boundary value problems. This is the one by Nagel, Saf, and Snyder. And I'll leave a link in the description. This is the one that I used when I studied differential equations. And I feel like it's got some really challenging problems um, and it could help you a lot when you take that course. I'm gonna have two courses on differential equations. Both of those can help you uh, learn Jose. And they're fairly comprehensive. They don't have everything, but they have a lot. Uh, they even go into like series solutions and you actually get like full worked out detailed examples and stuff. So yeah, it should help you a lot. And having a book uh, to help you will be a great thing. The nice thing about this is if you wanna go further and like take partial differential equations, um, this is a really good set of knowledge that you need in order to learn partial differential equations. So you use a lot of the techniques that you learn in differential equations and partial differential equations. Also, uh, the book has really good coverage on Laplace transforms and the courses cover Laplace transforms, which is something that you'll do uh, if you do like electrical engineering. You just said, uh, take some engineering courses. You didn't specify which, but in any case, all of this mathematics uh, should help you greatly. I think it's great. I really think it's great. You said you studied calculus decades ago. Wow, decades, not like, so plural and now you're coming back to it after retirement, I think that's great. It just shows that you know, it's never too late to learn mathematics, and I think that being active mentally is, is always good, and it's awesome that you're going back. and Actually, not just doing self-study, but going back, going back to college, taking college courses, I think that's a really, really powerful move. Because sure, you can buy these books, right? Sure, you can buy my courses, but when you take an actual college course, you're being held accountable. Right? It's like someone is saying, hey, here's this homework. You need to do it. <laughs> you know, Hey, there's a test next week. If you don't perform, you're going to fail. So you have that added pressure, which it's good and bad. If you're retired and you're just taking one or two classes, it can actually be uh, quite, a fun, quite a fun experience. But yeah, hopefully uh, this has helped someone else out there who is uh, trying to learn algebra, uh, trig, calc one, two, three, and differential equations. I don't have a pre-calc course yet, but my college algebra course covers a lot. It's, it's super comprehensive and it has tons of videos and assignments so that can make you really good at mathematics. I hope it's been helpful, Jose. And if anyone else has advice for Jose on how to learn uh, these subjects or other tips or other books or other courses, anything, leave a comment. Um, if you have any experience with self-study, any study tips for Jose, any advice for someone who is going back to take some engineering courses and if you're, if you're older, if you're studying mathematics and you're in retirement or you're older, uh, leave a comment. I'm curious. Um, and whenever you leave comments, it helps other people. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. Key takeaway is keep doing mathematics. Stay strong.